Hi guys, welcome to Restart. This is the first episode, and before anything else, ano pa Restart? Basically, it's a short and straightforward video series na talks about the basic art fundamentals to help you make better art. I also make art tool reviews sa mga software, mga tools na ginagamit ng artists, career advice, especially if you want to learn more about offering art commission, you know, yung mga tips on how much price yung dapat mong iset sa isang art commission, how to get clients, and syempre, how will clients find you. So, tara, samahan nyo ako na yung pag-usapan natin ngayon. Variation is basically doing things differently para magkaroon ng interest and magkaroon ng appeal yung artwork na ginagawa mo. Parang ito yung bakasyon na ginawa mo pagkatapos ng paulit-ulit mong trabaho, bahay, trabaho, bahay, trabaho. Alam mo yun, nakaka-boring na kung ganun yung laging ginagawa mo. And when you take a vacation, it spice up your life, nagkakaroon ng interest. And it's the same with art. So, in able to make better art, kailangan ng variation para hindi siya mukhang boring and maging interesting siya sa tumitingin. And this is the first technique to add variation in your art. If you're mostly drawing landscape art, makapansin mo na lagi may horizon line yan. And one technique to make your landscape interesting is huwag mong hatiin to sa gitna ng equal parts. Placing the horizon line in the middle of a landscape looks and feel flat and dull. Kasi hindi mo ma-emphasize kung ano yung mas dominating dun sa taas or sa baba. Kung sa taas may sky or sa baba mo ground, hindi may emphasize kung ano yung mas dominating dun sa dalawa. So, by dividing your canvas unequally, you create variation. If you place the horizon below the middle, it makes the sky more dominant kesa dun sa ground. And it also feels spacious and the overall picture feels big. And ganun din. If you place the horizon above the middle, that makes the ground more dominant than the sky. When adding objects into your artwork, importante na maglagay ka ng variation by using the space between them. Varying the space between your object can make it look natural and attractive to the eye. So for example, itong mga puno sa forest. If you place the trees in equal spacing, hindi siya mukhang natural eh and hindi siya ganun ka-interesting. Pero kung maglalagay ka ng variation dun sa spacing nila na hindi siya pantay-pantay, it suddenly feels more authentic and natural. Every shape na meron dun sa drawing mo should be unique. And every sizes, kailangan iba-iba to. Some of the basic shapes like nung circle and square, sobrang common na to, thus making it boring and have less impact kapag nakita natin or kapag nakita ng iba. A circular tree just looks plain and boring. Pero mas magiging interesting to kung iiba-ibahin natin yung shapes and sizes ng mga branches niya, ng leaves niya sa ibang part. Hindi lang siya basta bilog. Katulad nito example na to. We can also use the object spacing, yung example natin number 2 kanina, to add variety to the branches and yung overall structure ng tree. When grouping objects into art, don't make it equal. Always remember this, odd numbers are more interesting than even numbers. Kung nakapunta ka na sa isang art gallery, most of the time, makikita mo or mapapansin mo yung mga paintings sa wall is odd-numbered. And this is because even numbers bring symmetry. And we tend to ignore them kasi sobrang part na siya ng buhay natin. But the moment na merong odd number na structures dun sa wall, we lose the ability to group them automatically. Kaya nagkakaroon ng chance na titigan natin to kasi hindi natin siya mag-group automatically. And this attracts attention. And this applies kung meron kang mga object na nakagrupo dun sa artwork mo. Yung odd number na details is more effective at capturing our gaze. Kasi pinaforce nito yung mga mata natin to move around, that's why it's more appealing. So yeah, that's it for our first episode. I really hope na meron kayong mga natutunan sa mga pinagsasabi ko. And hopefully magamit mo ito sa susunod mga artwork. But before I say goodbye, I just want to you know use this opportunity para ipakita ko yung appreciation ko and yung support ko sa ibang artists like me who I really think deserves the chance na makita ng mundo yung gawa nila. So, iwan ko yung link nila dito and please show them some love by visiting their page. Thank you guys again. Until next time, take care.